now we'll see question number 4 see here they have given you a spherical mirror and a spherical lens uh, both the spherical lens and mirror is having focal length of minus 15 centimeter and they are asking you to identify the mirror and the lens so here you have to focus on the focal length see it is negative right magnitude kitna hai doesn't matter but you just see that the focal length is negative and for that now we'll check that which lens and which mirror has negative focal length okay so just see here this is a concave mirror okay this is the concave mirror this portion is the shaded portion and this side this side is the reflecting surface so this is a concave mirror suppose if this is the object then what is the direction of light this will be the direction of light here you can see the focus is formed here at this position if i want to measure the focal length we know the rule from where we have to start our measurements we have to start measuring from the pole so i'll measure the focal length in this direction this was the direction of light so i can say that the direction of light and the direction of measurement of focal length they are opposite so the focal length of a concave mirror is going to be negative so ek cheez humko pata chal gayi ki yahan par unhone jo mirror bola hai wo mirror kaisa hoga negative hoga ab lens ke liye check karte hain so see this is a concave lens here also here is the object and this is the direction of light Again here if I want to measure the focal length, I have to start uh, measurement from optical center. So I'll measure the distance from O to F1. So just see here also, this is the direction of light and this is the direction of measurement of focal length. Again both the directions are opposite. So here for a concave lens also the focal length is negative. So whether you say lens or you say mirror but both are concave in nature so here what will be our answer option a both are concave this will be our answer your next question is they are asking you that no matter however far you stand from the mirror your image always appears to be erect then what kind of mirror is that and the options they have given that only plain mirror can form erect images, only concave mirror can form, only convex or either is a plain or a convex mirror. So see one thing we know that plain mirror, this option A, plain mirror, it always forms erect images. So option A to hai hi hai, theke? Concave mirror ya convex mirror, in dono mein se koi bhi hamesha erect image banata hai, aisa kuch hai, so what we can do is we can check from the tables of image formation by concave mirror and by convex mirror and you, when you will check the table for the concave mirror you will find that real and inverted images are also formed. So option B to ho hi nahi sakta hai, option B cancel ho jayega. Now we'll check for convex lens uh, sorry convex mirror so just see here in the convex mirror Im uh, this table is again given in your textbook you see here the nature of the image see image is always erect so question kya poochha tha unhone ke aisa kaun sa mirror hai jiske saamne agar aap khade rahoge to wo hamesha aapka erect image banayega to your answer will be the plane mirror and convex mirror plane mirror al always forms erect image convex mirror also as we have seen from this table convex mirror also always forms erect images so here the answer hoga? option d will be the correct answer